Okay, one application I did not list in the tools section is the fritzing application, which you can see right here on my desktop. The reason I didn't list it is because I'm not actually going to be using it throughout the course, but I will be using the diagrams from it. So I wanted to go ahead and give you a quick overview as to what it is, where you can find it, and how to get going with it. We'll start out by going down to our friendly Foxifier here, see what he has to say. And we'll punch in fritzing.org. You can see at the top there a download link, so we'll go ahead and click on that. Now this is a free application, but they do operate on donations, so before you download you can punch in a donation amount, though it's not required, and then hit the donate and download button. Since I've already downloaded this, I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down to the installation instructions here. They're pretty straightforward, so I would find your operating system that you're running, and then just follow them step by step right here. Now since I have downloaded it, we'll go ahead and fire it up. So I have it here on my D drive, in D Raspberry Pi, Tools, and the Fritzing. And that's the unzipped folder there, it comes in a zip file. And then we'll go ahead and launch the application. All right. Whenever the application loads up, you're presented with a welcome screen and some other tabs. Go ahead and click on the breadboard here, because that's where I work the most. And over on the right hand side, you can see all these components that you can click and drag and drop, like this LED right here, and it just snaps right to the board. You can zoom out and uh, you scroll down and see some of the other components here. And we'll go ahead and drag a microcontroller, since that would be part of what we work with later on. If you don't want to use the Arduino, there are other microcontrollers that are pre-built in here for you as well. So you can see quite a few of them. We'll go ahead and go back over to the breadboard view and zoom right in a little bit and show you that if you hover over these different connectors on the board, you can see a little highlighted area. And that means you can click and drag like so, and it'll go ahead and put a wire on the diagram for you. And you can do this with any part that has connections built into it, uh, either the breadboard, the microcontroller, or other components you might put on here as well. Another cool thing about this application is the various views that it has. So you can see a schematic view here, if you prefer, or a printed circuit board view. And one neat thing about the printed circuit board, too, is they actually have a service where you can upload your design onto their website, and they'll actually manufacture it or fabricate it for you for a fee. So it's really cool that you can do the design in here, send it off to them, pay a small fee, and get your own professional manufactured circuit board. The final view over here on the right is the code view. And that is where you can write actual code to upload to your platform. And you can select the platform, the version, and then the port that it's connected to on your computer. Now we're not going to be using that for our development, but I just wanted to point that out that that is an option as well. One final piece I want to show you before we part ways with Fritzing here is that it's very extensible. So you right click in the core parts area and there's an import option. And you can navigate to a file on your file system and import designs from other people. So you can create your own in here save it to a file, and then put it up on the web for other people to download. And then, of course, you can get other people's as well and import them in here if the core fritzing application does not have what you need for your design. Now, there's a lot more that you can do with the fritzing application, but we're going to go ahead and cut the demo off here only because we're not going to be using it throughout the rest of the course. You will see designs from this application in some of the demos later on, so I just wanted to show you how I made those and how you can go about doing the same.